about to dive with the world's deadliest fish, the stonefish. Crikey, I love stonefish. They're so funny. Each fish has got their individual personalities. They're great. And their eyes on top of their head and their camouflage techniques are second to none. There's only been about one recorded death here in Australia. Several throughout the Indo-Pacific region. The treatment, of course, is sticking the envenomated area into hot water. 43 degrees Celsius is about where you want to be. Unlike like most fish. Stonefish actually don't have any scales. And this means a couple of things. But primarily it means that they can use algae and other bits and pieces that are around to actually help them in their camouflage. It just sits there looking like a stone in the rubble or the, or the sandy bottom, waiting for unsuspecting prey to come by before he gobbles it up. And unlike a lot of venomous species that I work with, their venom is designed for defense. You actually have to stand on the spines and then underneath the skin, beneath each spine, is their venom gland. And when you actually put pressure on that skin, poof, the venom comes out like an aerosol can. <laughs> Other divers have told us about a large stonefish living in this area. They're masters of camouflage, so we're combing through habitat that matches the look of a stonefish. And it looks like Jamie and Steve have finally found one. For such a deadly creature, it's exceptionally placid. No sign of aggression, not even when it's touched. This one's not quite as large as the other divers promised, but it's a healthy specimen, and Jamie records every detail for his scientific study. The concealment is perfect. We found it only because we knew what we were looking for and where. They're not a very mobile fish, and rarely move beyond a very small range of sea floor. Their fins are just powerful enough to lift them off the bottom and move them around in short hops. Steve is keeping away from the venomous dorsal spines, and he can handle the fish only because he knows them so well. Anyone else handling a stonefish could be in serious danger from the venom, which we will extract from the spines when we take this specimen up to Croc 1. While its venom will be valuable for Jamie's research, this is not the stonefish we came to find. It's quite small, and we should be able to find a much bigger fish waiting in ambush somewhere else on this reef. Stonefish can sit in extremely shallow water. Even when the tide is completely out, they bury into the sand. Much more dangerous than this deeper habitat where we finally locate the larger stonefish. This research helps produce antivenom that will save the lives of victims around the world. The stonefish hunkers down with only its eyes and spines exposed, ready to gobble up its prey as it swims past. But with a human foot, the stonefish interprets the shadow as a possible predator, and up come the venomous spines. It's the perfect self-defense mechanism, but it can deliver a fatal wound to an unwary human. Croc 1 is set up for the stonefish with holding tanks, life support systems, and lab facilities to extract venom from their spines. Let's, let's take the big one, because that'll be the easiest to milk. So okay. We'll grab that one first. Yep. Yeah. Aren't they docile? They're like little puppy dogs. <laughs> the world's most venomous fish, and yet they are so placid and docile. Head facing yep. back of the boat. Put the head down that end. Excellent. Alrighty, how about that? Sides. Yep. Now, the interesting thing with these guys, too, is they'll live out of water easily. 5, 10, 15, 20 hours. Oh, my word. Spines oh, yeah, look up. at that. Well, a lot of what you can see is actually not the skin of the animal, but it's the algae. Uh -huh. So when we, what we'll actually do is we'll take, cut some of that away, yeah. and then you'll be actually able to see the spine. She's removing the algae. Yeah. Oh. Should I hold him? Or? Yeah, do you want to hold the front end of him? That's it. Yeah. Hey, little fella. You can see that spine sticking out there. Boy, that's, that's quite something. Yeah, so you can imagine if you stand on that. That's a good inch. Oh, yeah, easily. Okay. It was incredible to see how much of that deadly spine Jamie revealed from under the algae without hurting the fish, and how powerfully the venom ejected. Oh. See the venom come out then? I sure as heck did. See it then. Wow. It goes clean through um, uh, wetsuit booties. Like a fan. Here he goes again. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, little fella. That's yeah. okay. You don't need to squeeze, so just push it on one side, slightly as it goes in. Rock and mm -hmm. noise. And draw back on the strings, that's it. There's one. One, and the same thing on the other side. And then draw back. That's it. Got him. Got him. 
got it. Beautiful. Just give you that, squirt into that carefully, just dribble it down the side. And I've just milked my very first stonefish. Crack on it, and we won't run. That's, that, how you, that's how you milk a stonefish. There you go, Mr. Big. Such a powerful toxin for such a placid fish. World's most venomous fish and high on the list of the ocean's deadliest.